Well, how many people media. have but, you but introduced was... to skateboarding, Tony? Through like just you in general, but then like the video game, like that's the coolest thing that happened to skateboarding for me, for real. Like all I ever wanted to do was like to have somebody feel the same way I felt about skateboarding. And how do you do that? You have to introduce them to skateboarding somehow. So like I had an outlet with the show. It was like, okay, we're going to have a, a drama show, but it's always going to be skate. There's always going to be the skate element that's going to make it look inviting. And that's all I cared about. So in your view, you were promoting skating. And then my life was just their, happening. Right. Got it. Around that. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, and like it every other fun. episode. Was it not fun to film? I had a blast. Right. Yeah. Was there ever times that it got old and you were like. 100%. Right. Okay. 100%. What that's was why the we thing- stopped. What was the thing that that irked you about doing it in the end? Um, a, a lot of, mostly the flack from skateboarding. No, really? Yeah. Just because everyone's like, dude, you're not, you're being mainstream, you're not being core, like yeah, that kind of Yeah, I just started thing. feeling like, you know, and I was, I was 17, I wasn't even 18 yet, and yeah. every autograph signing or everything that I went to, there was always like hundreds of kids just like talking crazy you know, things they wanted to do to my mom and like just oh, things you don't want to hear. And dude. I was I was a scrappy like yeah. at that point, like I was scrappy and I wanted to fight everyone. That's and so terrible. I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna stop this yeah. because this, this, is gonna, this is gonna get me yeah. in a lot of trouble. And um it's turning me into a person that I don't really recognize anymore. Yeah. Um That's which, amazing you had that. I was gonna though, say because, right? <clears throat> most of those reality shows back then yeah they all went south like in terms oh, yeah. of the characters the people it was a disaster for them eventually well, and you and they want that yeah, yeah i don't know they want yeah, the disaster of it the well, network they, wants or they don't that. realize they want you that's to they want did me you to sense that when you were filming right. that they were setting up things that oh like, they wanted you mean the the, 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 the production yeah, for yeah they like they, they you know they get so gripped right. to the but tv if you had a big fight they'd be like oh hell yeah oh it would have been it would have been a dream you know like that's honestly but then why you had that you had that uh i had the awareness that that was yeah coming. the awareness yeah. and the wherewithal to be like nah this isn't worth it well i saw what happened when my parents divorced i had no idea that was coming we were mid-season and they filmed that and they filmed this conversation oh, that that's happened so wild. That's so... and bro like for me i was like hey can we turn the cameras off and they're like no and so I was like, ah, okay. And so I'm dealing with real life emotions and my family is everything. We've talked about it clearly. My parents were like the, the best and- And they're doing this on TV. And they're like doing that it on sucks. TV and I am and I cried, of course. Yeah. Of course, I cried. My family is you like- You got shit for crying. The mo- oh, bro. And then that's when crying You guys Ryan. never seen uh, <laughs> uh, Macho Man Randy Savage? Real men cry, you know? It's okay to cry. If Macho Man can do it, so can Ryan Sheckler. It was just easy to grab onto. And that became the thing was like crying Ryan and Oh you know, my and I and I tried to I tried to step into it. So I put out a plan B board that had like literally just said crying Ryan oh, on it. Yeah. 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 In the, the uh you know how uh, so so zero and this was never meant to be shade at zero. I just enjoyed the graphic where it said die trying and it was a zero board. So I put uh die crying yeah it's funny and put it out and then all of a sudden i had all these zero dudes that were like you know i'd be down at in and out i'd be down at in and out in palomar and i'd get like surrounded by all these like diehard zero dudes trying to fight me in in and out for for like making (laughs) fun of tommy sandoval and i'm like dude tommy's my friend like this is no shade anyway so i couldn't win i'm like yeah and that's when it was like i'm done with this show but i couldn't be done because we had a two-year deal with the option for a third, but the option was on MTV. So MTV picked the option. They're like, no, we're doing it. And so I had to film a third season. And the third season was like not, uh, you could tell nobody was into it. Yeah. And um, they could tell that. And so they played the whole third season um, on like a Tuesday afternoon, one time through and then never again. And so it was like. Right. Wait, why? They, they did that so that. They didn't want to promote me anymore. They were done with me. But. Because Why would they, they show like I don't I'm I'm confused on that. They they showed it because they had to? 
I mean, or they had already so made they, the season. They would get you out of the, the contract? No, I think it was more of a, like a shade to me of oh, like, we're not going to give you any more Friday night after the Hills love and attention. We're putting you out on a Tuesday when nobody's but, watching and everybody's at work. But and did you stand to make royalties every time they showed it? No, nah, we just, I, we made money per episode. So it, to me, it didn't matter. I'm like, cool, it's done. Yeah, that's so strange. I'm like, it's done. I think there is a thing, though, where they have to show it. I, I, I read about All that right. once where... Who knows? But, Very you know, and that's not shade at MTV. I get it. That's a business, you know? It's a business. Yeah, but you weren't feeling it anyway. And I wasn't feeling it. Yeah. I don't like waking up to literally four cameras. And, like, I would wake up to the sound to the sound guy, like, handing me my microphone. I'm like, oh, dude, like, put it on and then wake up. I'm like, all right. I'd be so pumped. <laughs> I'd cry. If you it want was me a to. lot, bro. I'm joking. If you it want me lot. to. Yeah, just say it. It was a lot. And, you know, it was like, like I said before, it was not a time where there was social media. So, like, I felt at that point in my career that this was like a good move to like get people to recognize skateboarding. Obviously, we were selling psycho amounts of boards. And I realized too, I had like this crazy, like, girl following, fan, fan group following. So, I made all my graphics on all my Plan B boards pink. I did, I just went everything pink. Did that bum anybody out? I didn't care. I was selling 30,000 boards a month. Something crazy like that. I got that. pink boards. They didn't sell that good. The boards were flying, bro. And like, I actually didn't mind it. Um, Why would you mind it? Because I only would have thought about it because I had been like conditioned to like everything, worry, everything worry about what is, people yeah. thought. Yeah. You know, like and everything is a controversy. Everything I was yeah. doing, I had to really think twice about mm. instead of just like free flowing. Yeah. That, so during the, and, and my timeline's a little, I'm really old, so it's hard for me to gauge, but uh, was that time when I feel like you were doing the show, the show was hitting and you were doing X Games at the same time. Was oh, yeah. there like one or two years of crossover there? Yeah. Because I remember those years I was doing commentary yeah. where you would show up and it was like a, a whole Bro, I want different... a gold. I want a yeah. gold with my whole camera crew and friends It was there. a whole That's different, right. but but I mean, it was like when he entered the the course, it was like, you know. And I stepped into that. Some giant rock star just walked yeah. in and, and it was a different vibe too. Yeah. I stepped into that. And like that also fueled my like, oh, I'm untouchable. Like I'm going to the club tonight right. as an 18 year old. But I think that there's something to be said for you're under all that pressure. You got all of those cameras on you, and you still walk the walk. You still won in X Games. Like that is huge. That had to be done. Like that was my only mission for that show was to like do very well in contests, especially because I'm the guy. Like you said bringing 12 people that are part of this film crew and my whole friends the cast and like i'm showing up so like if i'm showing up i have to i have to show up but there's a contingent physically. of the crowd that went to x games just to see you mm -hmm. I, I can say that because <laughs> yeah. i was i was behind the scenes in the x games it was just like oh there's the, the yeah, it was Shepherd like a band thing base. yeah yeah, yeah it got weird went, man everybody knew where you were going it's like his thing is still I forget sometimes, but everybody's looking at him where he's going. For it sure, it doesn't matter what. Like he's on the ramp, we're doing best trick. There's ten other dudes that are in their prime. Where's Tony? Like there's people in the crowd. It's like is he on the stairs? I'm like it's not. Like I don't know what that's like. I only know what it's. I've been close enough to be like that is a lot to just. But that's what it is. You put your head down, you skate. Yeah, that's it. Right. You just got to block it out. There's always skate. It's less fun, but it skating is is uh, is the thing that matters in those moments. A hundred percent, and it will always matter. And I think that's where I'm at these days, where it's like, okay, cool. Like, there's residual, you know, fame and things going on, and and it's all good. But I don't chase that. I chase. I'm still chasing rolling away. Literally, I just want. I want to land tricks. I want to be a good dad. Um, you know, I want to be a, a real big part of my church. Like, I just want to do these things that are are my core beliefs and values um but skateboarding will never leave skateboarding will never leave and i'm gonna film another part and i'm gonna skate until i cannot skate anymore and i know you guys understand that it's like um I'm right there and what i've seen too is like these these fans and these skateboarders like they're not expecting me to put out a part that's gonna win skater of the year 
they just want to see me skate. You know, they just want to know I'm still skating, still putting it out there. And I want to know that I'm still skating and still pushing myself. And so that's what I'm doing.